and he has let them go for our third race here at Zetland point to point so the shifted race seven of them went down to post and all they well seven of them now emerge from behind the trees they're headed by Red Delta followed in second position by Tom Flynn making the long right-handed swing towards fence number two which is in around a hundred yards or so. Third place in a pretty handy position at this stage is that's calling up back and forth by some time is on the inside of Lou Marvelous all over number two okay and turn right handed now onto the home straight for the first time by some time and sunset on fire are at the rear at this early stage all over fence number three okay two more plain fences along the home straight to negotiate before they go out on two full circuits Tom Flynn just towards the inside of Red Delta at fence number four calling up close up on the outside in third the marvellous in between horses in fifth and then towards the inside is by some time those are the leading quintet as they meet fence number five that will be the last in two full circuits time ride long live long is in sixth place at the moment certainly in a share of fifth at the very least only three lengths off the leader red delta at this stage there's another length break or so then back to sunset on fire who is last of our racing sector as they reach the open ditch for the first time sunset on fire but in a slightly short one there and now trails the rest of the field by two or three lengths as they turn right-handed up the side of the course or will turn right-handed in a couple of strikes time and ball along towards fence number seven still Tom Flynn and Fred Delta the leading pair as they do so Lou Marvelous and by some time in behind these calling arc now relegated to fifth place having been a pretty handy third uh, for the last couple of furlongs he's just on the outside of right long live long sunset and fire still the last of the seven who all make it over fence number seven safely and on the along the back straight head on towards fence number eight which was their first fence a full circuit ago so that's now one full circuit travel and they will re-emerge from behind the trees with Red Delta still in the lead probably by three quarters of a length Tom Flynn Orange Cap then of Lou Marvelous in third as they again turn right handed with uh, probably two two miles left to travel still at this stage and on towards number nine which they rise over and get over safely now so on towards the home straight for the penultimate time this is fence number 10 it will be three out in a circus time and we are we will be very much in the business end of things then so red delta just about leading up from tom flynn on the inside lou marvelous on the outer calling arc on the outside of him could throw a tea towel over this field probably at this stage they're very tightly bunched sunset on fire jumping has much improved it's going in slightly short at number six and they all get over fence 11 fairly smoothly as well so no more than three or four lengths probably from first to last at this stage here is number 12 which will be the last in a circuit's time red delta went in very slightly short there but landed okay did land on all fours just a reminder there for tom flynn Give to him by Will Brown up in second place, just uh, pressing on now is Red Delta in first, Tom Flynn in second, Lou Marvellous third. No real change to the order since half the circuit will go and they rise, will rise at the open ditch with those the leading quartet. Didn't jump it all that well there, Lou Marvellous, but got over it okay. Calling up is towards the rear still, but again, probably no more than four lengths off the lead as they swing right-handed towards number 14 last of them all now is ride long live long so sensor on fire just pressing on a little bit on top of 
the rest of the field. All set, but as the is very much still with us, Tom Flynn probably now has a length lead from Red Delta in second to Marvellous in third on the outside of Vice of Time. Right long lip on again, but in a slightly short stride at number 14. And uh, Lock comes from a couple of places there. He's now more or less uh, the back mark who certainly was as they made their way behind the trees. Once we see them again, at least they will have completed on all got uh, safely over at number 15, and indeed there they all are. Red Delta and Tom Flint still the leading pair as they head on towards four fences out. A couple of hundred yards before they meet four fences out. You can just about see them okay now. Red Delta is on the inside of Tom Flint. There's the orange cap of Lou Marvellous. And heading on, pressing on towards the home turn. Three fences now between them and the finish line. Red Delta has led for most of the way out in front. Has by some time on his inside. Not in slightly on landing there by some time, but very much still going. Orange cap of Lou Marvellous is looking dangerous still in third place as well. As well. Sunset on fire trying to stay on back in fourth. It's at the moment between by some time on the inside of Red Delta as they charge on towards the final of 19 fences here. By some time with Red Delta looming down on his outside. By some time does it much the better of the two and is trying to stay on here ahead of Red Delta. It's slowly closing. It's going to be tight. But by some time claims it from Red Delta. Luke Marvellous in third. Uh, so, sunset on fire is four, right long, live long, and they're very tight between top lips.